you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new Mutt 10 player. So if you guys don't know what that is already, there's an awesome new promo Madden called, I think, the 10 Years of Mutt, to be exact. It is pretty much going to be 10 players over the course of 10 weeks replacing as limited time legends. And if you know what that means, it means that every Saturday they drop two legends and a limited time legend. Mutt 10 pretty much replaces that Saturday limited time legend, and they now release them Friday, which is today, the day in front of Saturday. Now, this promo is really cool, and the way it is trending, it's looking like we're going to get those third-party, very rare legends. Like, we're not going to be tossing in there like Jerry Rice's or Barry Sanders, possibly. They're gonna, looks like they're going to be dropping some third-party type legends that we don't always see too often, like those rare million coin cards and i kind of like that now if you guys didn't already know we do get one of these players for free for absolutely free in 10 weeks all you gotta do is play the solo challenges now i'll get into that towards later like the latter end of this video but guys these cards are so far really cool so week one we got bo jackson bo jackson has been up on the block for he has seen himself for 3 million 2 million he consistently sells about 1.8 million he is the best running back in the game by a landslide although for the price i'll still take marcus allen or dalvin cook but by stats wise, Bo Jackson is the best running back that has come in contact with Madden 20. Maybe one of the best running backs we've ever seen in a Madden before at this stage in the game. But the card art is an older card art, so it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this Mutt 10 promo so far. And they did just release the new one, guys. Now, this new one is a throwback. But before we get into that, guys, let me get into my quick little intro. Guys, if you are new to the channel and you've been enjoying the content videos, the gameplays, the pack openings, the tips, the market, everything that I do on this channel, make sure to drop a sub so you won't miss out on all the cool content I'll be dropping three to four times a day, 365 days a year, year round, guys. You won't want to miss it. So if you want to support the channel, go drop a sub. We're grinding out to 8K, and hopefully with that, by the time we hit 10K, you guys will see that subscriber special I've been telling you guys about at 10K. Also, if you haven't already, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. I post a lot of time-sensitive content, market tips, market stuff, and pack open whatever anything that's time sensitive time sent time sentences time sensitive will definitely benefit you guys to have that on also if you haven't already go down below like the video this is a content video so if you guys could i'd appreciate it if we could hit 150 likes in this video that'd mean a lot if you want to show support to the channel i always say it dropping a like is the best way to do it now guys let's get into this card here so this card is a middle linebacker we knew that we knew it was going to be a middle linebacker but we did not know who it was so we had guesses right junior sale maybe another legend that we don't know potentially right maybe patrick willis there's been multiple multiple guesses for who the linebacker be ray lewis is a really cool one but i wasn't i wasn't sold on ray lewis because ray lewis is a guy that i i feel like these limited time legends shouldn't be a, a household staple name we get every year like ray lewis's dion michael vicks I'm, i was i would have been really upset now guys the guy they did drop is patrick willis patrick willis 91 overall middle linebacker he is not in the game yet because obviously these limited time cards are not the easiest cards to pull so you can't really expect them on the block for at least 20 30 minutes so i'm not waiting a lot of time i obviously have a picture of his stats and his card art so you guys will see everything but guys real quick little thing that a little thing that i've been talking to with xerxes about is that i hope that the majority of the legends that are dropped are not household staple legends that we get every year so like every year we get a steve young every year we get a rice we get a ray lewis we get a dion a vic a chub a randy moss i was praying that they wouldn't make those cards limited time legends because I find it kind of unfair, right? Everyone loves Vic. It's not Madden if you don't have a Vic, a Dion, or a Randy Moss, at least one of those on your team, right? That is the most fun part of Madden, having those guys on your team. So if they made them these limited time cards, they're very rare. Like, it's not, it's not that easy just to get a Bo Jackson. Yes, at the end of 10 weeks, we do get a fantasy pack. We could pick just one. But let's say they dropped a Vic, Dion, Randy Moss, and Calvin. So that means you can only have one of them on your team for the whole year, because realistically, you're not paying 2 million, 3 million coins for one of those other cards. I found that kind of dumb, in my opinion. So, so far, it's looking like we're getting those third-party type guys, like Bo Jackson, the guy that we usually get once a year. Patrick Willis, the guy that we might not even see any year, because he just retired not too long ago. It's looking like we're getting those other guys that we don't typically expect, and I'm liking that. So the next card could be like a Calvin Johnson. That'd be really freaking cool. Guys, if you guys understand where I'm going with this, pretty much I want to see newer type guys like Troy Palomalu. Charles Woodson, Calvin Johnson, Patrick Willis, um, guys like that. You know, you guys know what I'm saying? I don't want to freeze up there because I don't really have any other names that I want to throw out there that are that type. But you guys understand, Brian Finner and guys that we typically in other Maddens, like in past Maddens, 
limited time cards were rare like those were the guys that like you wanted but like you don't see too often i like that so guys let me get into these stats for you let's head on over to now guys coming over here you see patrick willis 91 overall middle linebacker this card art is insane now what this reminds me of is a most feared type patrick willis i feel like this is a similar card to something i've seen before if it is if guys if you guys recognize this card art, say type it down below because i feel like i recognize this card art before he has like the army captain hat i'm not sure what exactly that is for linebacker because being that i do have shazier i haven't really ventured into powering up linebackers and really looking into that yet especially with the way training is i haven't really looked into any of those yet he's a limited time card he can be powered up guys now a quick little tip i have for you guys stay tuned for that on a great way to get patrick willis for pretty cheap and have one of the best linebackers in the game i'm gonna go over that in a second now as you see mutt 10 years right here the real this is an insane card i love it. it's like in the middle of like a halloween type forest now coming over to stats 37 salary cap he has six foot one so he's on the taller side of, line of linebackers 86 speed that means he's shazier esque but even better i love this card he's at 86 speed 86 excel 84 strength 89 tackle 88 play rec 86 block shed 90 hit power 74 zone this card can do it all minus the zone but typically i like to use shazier as my main guy so you mean to tell me you wouldn't love Bob patrick willis as your your, your one and two right there shazier's your user and patrick willis could be your run stuffer your your your, your terminator like he just destroys everyone he's all over the field he's forcing fumbles he's run stuffing this is the kind of card i need on my team now i'd imagine his hands aren't too bad either his zone's on the lower side but i can't imagine his catch is that brutal he has insane stats. You power this guy up or you put on any chems. He has the tackle threshold, the play rec threshold. His speed will be an 87. And he'll come even close on the block shed threshold if you put John Madden on him and you put a uh, pass rushing on him. This card could be the, one of the greatest linebackers we've seen at this point in the game ever. This card is insane. I love everything about this card. Now, remember, in 10 weeks, if you play your solo challenges, you do get one of these cards for free. So, as of now, you could have a Bo Jackson or Pat Willis. Make your choice. At the end of 10 weeks, I will be making a video ranking all 10 of them so you guys know the best options to pick. But right now, if I have to pick Bo Jackson or Pat Willis, I'm probably going Willis only because Bo Jackson can be replicated, in my opinion. He's amazing, but trust me, I have 300, 400 yard games with Marcus Allen and Dalvin Cook. He can be replicated. Now, a guy like Willis can't exactly be replicated. Obviously, we have Shazier, but not everyone does. Even with Shazier, most people still use two middle linebackers. I imagine there will be better options. These are only the first two. I'm hoping. If they do drop a Dion or Vic, that'll kind of suck, but at the end of the day, I still get one for free, so I won't be complaining too much. Now, the only thing about these cards that I have a little iffiness with is that these cards will not be getting upgrades throughout the year, most likely. And maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But I can't imagine that Bo Jackson gets too many cards, neither will Willis, so I'd probably end up taking one that has a better chance to get upgrades. And even if not, I imagine they'll keep it fair, so they either all do or none of them do. So I can't really base on that. Now, I don't know if these overalls will stay at 91 or if they're all going to progressively keep going up. That's something that will be found. That will be found. I wonder how high they go because by week 10 will be in November. So I can't imagine that every card's still going to be a 91 overall because by then maybe 93, 94, which in that case will completely throw off the rankings. But that will be show, that will be told and known in the future. Now, coming on back to the screen, guys, if you haven't already, I highly recommend you guys come over to here. Not even highly recommend. Do it. Remember, these to get the free player, you have to play the solo challenges. So I'm making this video before it even drops in the game anyways. So the solo challenges aren't here, but you'll see the one from last week. There's going to be a Mutt 10 solo challenge right here. This is Bo Jackson, obviously. This one's already gone. Of course, it kicks me out right there. This one's gone already because you only could play it from Friday through Sunday. Pretty much Weekend League. Like when Weekend League's out, when you can play it. So do not forget. The worst thing that could happen to you is that Monday rolls around. You're like, I forgot my solo challenges. Oh my God, I don't get a free player. You don't want to miss out on a free limited time overpowered beast in this game. You really don't, guys. I highly recommend you go about playing the solo challenges. You don't want to miss them. Play them right now. Don't waste time. Get them done. Not to mention, the solo challenge gives you a token and a power up Patrick Willis. So you guys want to know how to get one of the best middle linebackers in the game for a cheap? Go right now. Play your solo challenge. Get your power up Patrick Willis. And when you're done with that, you know what you do? You go power him up to an 88 slash 89 overall. You will have an 89 overall middle linebacker, I'm pretty sure, for training. That is awesome. Probably cost like 100K. I just sold uh, Bobby Wagner. I just put him up on the block. I'm going to sell Bobby Wagner for like 180K because Patrick Willis is going to be faster than Wagner. He's going to be a better run stuffer. First off, the speed. Patrick Will Bobby Wagner is tiny, fat, and slow. I need someone who's fast like like, like Shazier because it sucks when I switch off Shazier and Wagner's not usable. Now with Willis, it's a whole different story. And he could hit someone hard as hell. So I am very hyped to have Willis and that on... Um, what's called Shazier on the team now Bo Jackson was another recommendation for that although there's so many running backs I don't want to be stuck with Bo but Willis as a backup linebacker for a while I am more than happy with that so I will definitely go about that I highly recommend every one of you guys go power up Willis as soon as you can and take advantage of I see this as every week 
you could power up all these cards and have amazing cards in your team. Think about it. You power them up to 89. 89 is one of the highest overalls in this game right now. You can easily have very usable cards. I recommend you do it at depth positions, though, like cornerback, middle linebacker. I wouldn't really do it at running back because like a lot of people already have their running backs. And I think there's going to be even better running backs soon, like Saquon's, Kamara's, Ezekiel Elliott's, Barry Sanders, Damian Thomason. That's why I haven't really... I haven't really dove into that realm just yet of upgrading running backs like that. I'm just kind of waiting. But as far as anything else, guys, I highly recommend that as a quick, easy budget option because realistically, you don't want to pay 3 million coins for this card. Not everyone, not even like probably 10% of you guys have what kind of coins to shell out. So that is the best way to get a feel of these cards without actually spending all the money. And they still get pretty good abilities like the Bo Jackson did. So guys, that is about it for this video. If you did enjoy this content video and you guys love Patrick Willis, go down below. Make sure to smack the thumbs up. Make sure let's get this video to 150 likes. Go down below, smack the noti bell, get notified when I post a brand new video, hit the sub button so we can get to 8k as quickly as possible, guys, and comment down below what you think of this Willis and if you'll be powering him up, guys. Don't forget to play your solos, don't forget to play them, don't forget to play them, that is the worst thing you could possibly do right now, man, just forget to play the solos, guys, but that is it, thank you so much for watching, I'm out, see you guys in the next video, peace.